what's up guys so this is technically part four in my series on how I got from 600 to 1300 ELO and uh, I know some of you people who are higher up are like uh, this is this is trash I'm 1800 ELO why would I care about this well uh, sure you guys are a lot better but this is mainly for the people who are low ELO who can't get out so uh, for those trolls who are higher ELO um, you can just uh, do your own thing anyhow um, so I'm gonna start titling the video something different because I don't think uh, a lot of the newcomers are gonna wanna watch you know part 5 or part 6 of a certain series of videos uh, because technically they can be watched without watching the previous ones so I think it's uh, best to title them just with a normal title than uh, add on some random part number on there that's going to deter them so yeah uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, more uh, things I've seen uh, lower elo people do wrong and certain things I have fine-tuned and learned to do that pretty much got me to uh, uh, increase my elo so before I continue um, I'm going to tell you guys the meat of my story I've pretty much been building up to this point for the past uh, three videos or so so um, what I want to talk about is uh, first I'm going to give you a very quick overview of uh, my story so I made this channel last summer and from there I posted videos of my ranked and normal gameplay and basically what had happened was my goal if you would see my videos was to get to 1250 rank but unfortunately I dropped down to 500 rank for uh, League of Legends uh, ranked rating the, according to the ELO system so there I was at 500 which is like top I would say top 30% of, uh, excuse me, not 30%, top 70%, so bottom 30% of uh, League of Legends players that played ranked. Um, I played around 300 ranked games, and for some reason I just could not get out of there. So um, I was stuck there and I was playing games. So what did I do? This is something you should do too if you're stuck in the same situation. Um, first things first, you have to watch streams when you can. Streams are when um, people who play the game, they will broadcast live their gameplay. So there's certain websites that um, tell you who's streaming. One of them is solomid.net and basically from there you can see how many people are viewing each stream um, you usually want to go to with the one that has the most viewers because he's pretty much well known and he he's pretty much uh, he's it's most likely to be an experienced player uh, some good people to watch for streaming are Saint Vicious, Dyrus, uh, Chow X, Skara Skara is um, one of my favorites and a lot of these people play certain roles so if you have a specific role you play like mid lane or jungler you want to find a streamer that uh, does what you do and most of these streamers are plat platinum plat excuse me platinum players which means that they have at least 1900 elo a lot of them are far higher like dyrus is like 2400 elo which is incredibly good so these gameplays would help you a lot because they tell you exactly what's going on and um, because you're, you're watching them live so you know exactly what they're doing so uh, Dyrus plays top lane so if you're a top laner you should go with Dyrus he used to play jungler but since he's joined uh, team solo mid.net with team solo mid he uh, mainly just plays uh, top now so um, that's the first thing I did that was different that uh, I think improved my uh, skill quite a lot because as I've explained in previous videos 
Uh, this game is definitely skill based and the reason you're down at your current elo is because of skill and um, you, you can keep blaming elo hell but it's been proven statistically that it doesn't exist and honestly I've seen so many people who are so exceptionally skilled that no matter what account they play on they will rise to their platinum plat excuse me platinum level elos even if you're if you start at 600 so that's the first thing you have to watch streams and see what you're doing wrong and the second thing is guides you have to read guides intensely they tell you so much about gameplay strategy what items to build and all this stuff there are probably three main sites that I use um, the first is mobifier.net and I advise you not to uh, use this one too much because a lot of the time the top rated guides on mobifier though they are pretty neatly done and they are pretty popular as in they have maybe a million or two million views um, they usually are created by people who aren't very highly ranked maybe 1600 or 1500 elo and compared to my second site which is solomid.net um, it's kind of trash uh, solomid.net most of the guides are made by platinum level players which is 1900 and above and platinum level is around the top three percent of the nation so that's really hard to come by especially considering how wide and immense the uh, League of Legends community is um, I think around several million play the game I'm not quite sure but um, top 3% is pretty high and a lot of them are even higher than that maybe like 2200 plus elo which is like top 0.1% so that's why you should use solomid.net because the quality of the people who are making the guides are so much better. The downside to solomid.net is a lot of the guides done are fairly sloppy and they don't go much into depth. Some of the guides are barely a page long but they still help more than mobifier in my opinion because I'd rather trust the item build, runes, and masteries of someone from 2200 ELO rather than a well done one from 1500 ELO so that's the first thing you have to look at you have to make sure your runes masteries and item builds pretty much match exactly what the guides say now that doesn't mean to follow them specifically exactly as they do because a lot of the time the guides are just guidelines and especially for something like item builds items fluctuate depending on the situation so if you keep going by a specific build and you follow that each time you're probably going to lose out because a lot of the players they uh, it all depends on team composition for example and this is why item builds are so important and you really have to know what to build if the opposing team is completely ability power based you have to uh, build magic resistance so that's why you might have to stray from the guide and build a banshee veal or a force of nature which gives massive massive uh, magic resistance which is what's going to be useful during these uh, scenarios because um, you're going to be bursted down before you can even attack so building attack damage is pointless you're going to spend all your hard earned, hard -earned gold on damage and you're not even going to be able to use it because you're going to be dead before you can that's why you have to know when, what to build and when and like I said before uh, this game League of Legends is not based on your number of kills because I've seen games where you, our whole team is losing in kills by a lot and we still manage to win because um, we have more gold and there's so many ways to m make gold and gold is one of the two things that I think are most important in the game the two things you want to get in the game is gold and um, objectives 
objectives give you more gold and give you more of an advantage uh, to get more gold and more objectives. So why are these two things so important?